Hello and welcome back to a bolt gun. Suggestion lost. Nope. Nope. Just getting started here. Optimal route through this area is cogitating, cogitating forward. I see. Anyway, hello. Hello everyone. We're back with bolt gun. Um we have uh, some murdering and heresy ahead of us. So that's good. Oh boy, here I go purging again. Yes, I'm going to make that reference every single episode. Is there any reason to do that? Yes, there is. Yes, there is. I think. Maybe. Oh. I don't know that I'm meant to be up here, but I am. So, <laughs> you'll remember that very early in the lifetime of this series, I had said that I'm playing Bolt Gun because I like Boomer Shooter. And that is true. I do very much love Boomer Shooter. What is a Boomer Shooter, Rosie? Uh, a Boomer Shooter is a throwback first person shooter that is trying to emulate the first person shooters of the 80s, 90s, and aughts. Oh, hello. What do I want to upgrade? Yeah, I'll have an upgraded plasma. Speaking of upgraded plasma. So, anyway. <clears throat> Boom shoots of the 80s, 90s, and aughts. Uh, we're retroactively named Boomer Shooters in the kind of like the last five years, I want to say. And um, that's because they've made a huge comeback um, in the indie scene. Uh, such as Bolt Gun. Now, Bolt Gun says it's a Boomer Shooter, but I had a, a think to myself between the episodes. And especially after last episode and the last two levels. I don't think it is a boomer shooter. I don't think it is. Because it's simply missing some things that make boom shoot boom shoot. And it's also added some stuff which are very, uh, very, very modern. And now that's okay, you could kind of expect a modern boomer shooter to have some features of modern FPS, but I think these are major mechanical differences that kind of uh, disqualify it from the, the boomer shooter moniker. And that would be um, arenas. Because that's very Doom 2016 slash Doom Eternal. Um, like the, the purge arenas that we get into. Also, the, um, the lack of monster closets. The fact that monsters tend to teleport in directly in front of you. Because that's what monster closets were for, right? Monster closets were how new monsters were delivered into a area um, instead of like teleporting directly in front of you or even on top of you. If you want to see monster closets in action, that's your doom, your doom too, your heretic, your blood. And so on and so forth. 
Um, and the other thing is that the levels are incredibly linear. Um, and Boomer Shoot is quite frankly very not linear. Now it does actually have some Boomer Shooter stuff. Like this here shotgun which I can't pick up and never will. Because um, the levels are geared towards being able to play them um, from the, from go, you know, like as not part of a campaign, but instead you're going, hey, I want to play, what is this place called, Martyrs something, Martyrs Crossing? Um, so every level has weapons appropriate to that level in it, if you so happen to not have them. It uh, goes back to the whole concept of pistol starting that I talked about in the previous episode. So there are boom shoot stuff, but I think the major, major one is the arena based gameplay. And, well, two, two things really the arena based gameplay and the very linear levels. I disqualify it from boom shoot status. If I'm not wandering around lost as to where this damn key goes, then it is not a boom shoot. <laughs> also, I keep saying boom shoot, but it's really boomer shooter is the is the fan name these days. You are, are you a fake? You are not a fake. All right. Also, sometimes the secrets just aren't secrets. You'll remember last episode I was wandering around going, oh no, where's the secrets? Half the secrets are just out in the open. And I just don't notice their secrets because I don't look at the message saying secret discovered, even though it wasn't a secret. It was just there for the taking. You know what I mean? Boomer shooter secrets are like behind a wall, which is behind a wall. And I mean, we have seen a couple of walls wall-based secrets and that's the kind of thing I expect but when it says six out of six and only one of those was in a wall I am I am uh, perturbed mightily sorry lads not today not today Can I only have one crack grenade? I actually wonder if that's a grenade limit. If I biff a normal grenade, can I have a second crack grenade? No. Can only have one crack grenade. Rude. Rude. Because I do mightily like the crack grenades. Now, all this hoopla of me being like, this isn't a boomer shooter. This is not, this is not critique. I mean, it is a form of critique, I suppose, but it is not me going, this game is bad. I love this game. This game is great. I can love Doom 2016 and, and, and Doom Eternal and modern FPS of the, of the speedy variety. <laughs> Well, there I go. <laughs> um, I'm just saying, I'm just here saying, it is my thoughts since last episode that this isn't really a boomer shooter. I think that's all right. I think what I'm really saying and maybe I'll save this for once. These dudes are dead. So that I can think. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Where was I? Um, 
I think this game has said, I am a boomer shooter because it wants an excuse to be a crunchy pixel aesthetic throwback, right? It wants, if, if it was a, a kid at school, it's trying to plead with the bully not not to hurt it not to hurt them <laughs> they don't have to they need to embrace who they are they are cool enough on their own you are allowed to be a crunchy pixel fps in 2000 in in 23 embrace it bolgan embrace who you are you are beautiful you are valid. <laughs> Isn't that the way I came in? Okay, I got turned around. Hang on. Is this stairway? Is that stairway? Now this is... Okay. In my defense, the things that the servitor sees are in the top left. And that's not where I'm looking. So if I stepped out here and the servitor said something like, these bodies, blah, 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 I didn't see it. I'm sorry. There's a reason why I only notice what the servitor is saying at the beginning of the level. Bridge spans, canyon contain remains of workers. Foundations are supported by bones of martyrs. Construction of the sacred imperial pattern. Yes, that's good. Plasma, we like our plasma. Oh. I mean, clearly the plasma is just the rocket launcher of Vulcan, which is fine by me. I love it. Wow. Incredible aim. I love it when developers embrace the expected, so in this case, the rocket launcher, assault rifle, shotgun, etc. Retro FPS loadout. But then they reflavor it, right? You've still got your rocket launcher in spirit. It's just a plasma rifle. You've still got your, your machine gun in spirit. It's just a bolt gun, which is a sweet piece of 40k lore. You still got your shotgun. It's just a shotgun. <laughs> no, I'm here for it. Uh, I love just like mechanically certain things just work, right? Having your, your area of effect weapon your high damage area of effect weapon, your reliable uh, DPS weapon, and your high damage close up weapon, right? Mechanically, those are designs, conceptually. How you flavor those concepts is entirely up to you. It's just most people who go um, machine gun, uh, assault rifle, shotgun rocket launcher and I wouldn't say it's because they're lazy it's I would say it's because it's familiar so we love our plasma gun because it is the rocket launcher and the rocket launcher is a beautiful thing in all boomer shooters and not boomer shooters And I have learned my lesson from last episode, too. Which is not to shoot this thing too dang fast. This game, here is an actual critique for you, has awful 
uh, damage feedback. The damage feedback on the enemies? Brilliant. They explode, they explode into piles of gore. That's fantastic feedback. <laughs> the feedback on me? Terrible. Sometimes I can get hit by something that really, really hurts and I won't even know. There'll be the little damage indicator to the side, but there won't be any like uh, screen rattling or a major screen darkening or anything like that. And it just makes you not realize you're taking as much damage as you are. Um, which is a bad time. That looks like a key door over there. Oh, what are you up to? Eh, never mind. Yep, key door. But I'm really enjoying my time with Bowgun. This is the kind of level that I actually can get behind, right? I do like the arena-based combat, but it's not my flavorite. My favorite is this, stomping through a level, which has a design from one end to the other, linear, non-linear, it doesn't matter, just as long as it's from A to B, um, that's my favorite. That's what I like doing. I like my monsters and enemies to be in different varying locations behind different varying uh, blockages and debris the the shape of the level ever changing because my position in it is changing Ooh, we got a that is new what are you vengeance bolt gun magazine okay Super Contempt. I don't... I guess it's just a higher damage. It is Strength Rating 4 instead of Strength Rating 3. So... more heavy bolter. I do like heavy bolter. Which heavy bolter is just your chain gun, but they've decided to make the chain gun a uh, power up instead of a um, the teleporting dudes. That's what I'm talking about. Teleporting dudes are very not boomy shooty. See that damage indicator just before? was pointing down at a down chevron on my screen which to me would indicate from behind but there was no one behind me there's only chaos space marine in front of me and the chevrons are very anemic they blend in quite easily I haven't been using my grenades so I'm gonna use my grenades Sirs, and or madams, and or indeterminate. I mean, if you're a demon, you're probably indeterminate. Let's face it. Mechanicus symbol? Kind of come. Come on. Latin's hard, especially fake fantasy Latin. Oh, hello. What are you? Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm 
begin purge. You are. Oh, this is actually the heavy bolter. I've been wrong the whole time. The power up is just the power up. The heavy bolter is the heavy bolter. <laughs> like these new enemies. They're very slippery and silent. But I do appreciate the DACA. Oh, the DACA is very satisfying. See what I mean about the feedback? I didn't know that guy was back there. Terminated. I did not purge everything. You are a liar. I'm sure there was more dudes this way. Or maybe not. Got out of that pretty shiny and chrome. Oh no. Once again, finding a upgrade long after I actually needed it. Slomo would have been very welcome. What are you? Help. Oh. Huh. oh well, the reward is the heavy bolter. I shall enjoy it greatly. Move slower when firing it. Although I noticed that you uh, move full speed when you're not firing it. So it's not just the fact that you're holding it, which slows you down, which is a nice change of pace for a first person shooter. So you can kind of tell visually too, that you're, um, you're moving full speed by the fact that you're holding the gun down and then you pull it out to actually fire it and you move slow. It's good, it's good feedback. Flamer man, I am going to need you to die. 
Thank you. <laughs> I saw that barrel behind him. Who threw that? Hello? Mind if I do? Nope, oh, never mind. Very reliable. Very uh satisfying this heavy bolter. That's the other thing about non-arena gameplay is you get to use the environment a lot more. I suppose in arenas you could still have exploding barrels and so on and then choose to use them at the right time but knowing when to use them the right time is something you kind of only learn on your second time through an arena right so when you have a level that progresses without the whole arena situation you know that using your barrels then and there is the right time to use it because it's the one place there are enemies, and it's the one place those barrels are. Very strange area. Pipe over there is giving me secret vibes, but... I don't know that I could make the jump even if... Mm, well... Do an old save, huh? Well, maybe jumping would help. That was half of the. <laughs> Where are we? That was half of the equation. Ah, it is an uh, invisible wall. There you go, not a secret. And that could have been a super secret. But the developers have decided their secrets are secret. Oh, we're in another purge. We're gonna be in another purge, I'd rather be up here. Thank you. these flying boys no sir Notice the pink demons don't always summon blue demons, but I'm not sure what the difference is quite yet. It was a terminator on that bridge, and I'm not sure where it's gone. 
Are you the Terminator and you just teleported away, or...? On fire. <laughs> oh, is it you? Are you why I'm on fire? You might be like Rosie, I really wish you would uh Push forward on this bridge. Staying back where you are seems kind of cheesy. And you're right, it is very cheesy. Oh, incredibly cheesy. But that is on purpose. See, that was a secret, apparently. Right there, in the middle of the dang bridge. That's not a secret. Come on, guys. Um. But we are playing on Exterminatus, which is the hardest difficulty setting, and I would like to not go through what I did last episode. <laughs> so if I can che cheese a, uh, a room like I did, I will. I will gladly. It's not cheese, it's tactical um, advantage. That's the word. Oh, that's the end of the level. Right then, folks, thank you so much for joining me. Thirty-two minutes, hundred percent kills. Oh, five secrets exterminatus. Ah, uh, oh well. Bit of luck next time. Next episode we will do Venerable Bastion. Thank you, thank you for joining me. Bye.